what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video we got the drag pack back on and we are ready to go to the track we got the seat out and tonight is the final night of drag racing for the year at the, our local quarter mile track now before we get right to the video guys i want to give a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys that subscribe like my content and comment down below so if you like what you see and you enjoy these videos make sure to hit the like button consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my videos and of course today we've got the zl1 so let's go ahead and give you guys the cold start on the zl1 Now the weather is nice and cool, feels good, and we're ready to go. So let's go on and I'll catch you guys at the track. It is 7.32, I think the track will be at 7. And we'll check out this darn tech line, guys. The tech is way out in that barn over there. And they've got a bunch of stuff blocked off. Alrighty, finally got the car teched in and man it is burning up guys there is so many cars out here for being a tuesday there is a ton of cars so like always in my videos guys we're gonna go ahead and try to get our first pass out of the way as it sits burning up hot and then we'll go ahead and let it cool down maybe throw some ice and see what it'll do once it's cooled down anyways let's go ahead and get in line i've already loaded up the fresh tune we did add a little bit more fuel um, across the board just to give it that extra fuel because of the extra airflow so we'll see what it does we are on e45 unfortunately e50 was dropping fuel pressure e45 seemed to handle it uh, much better so we're gonna go ahead and run e45 and see what it does guys hopefully the weather's really good you can see it about 1100 da so right around a thousand da we'll see what the car does best weather this car's ever ran in so let's get in the lines and see what it does catch you on the first run finally getting our first run the car is very much heat soaked the manifold air temp is 153 um so this is definitely not going to be the best pass i mean it's just hard to not keep the manifold temps up the lines are so long out here but we're going to be running a beautiful g8 guys pro charge g8 they definitely have a lot of stuff done to it. It's beautiful. 15-inch uh, conversion all around looks amazing. So, um, yeah, should be fun. That, the G8 is no joke. Draggy says 1034. Let's go get back in line as quickly as we can and start letting this thing cool down, guys. But we were reeling in that G8. We are back in the staging lanes, and my goodness, it is packed. I've never seen so many cars out here. It's probably gonna take us about another hour for this car to run again. And check out that wrinkle. Oh my goodness. But, anyways, I popped this hood open, I've got the fan going. I'm probably gonna go get some ice and make sure this thing is iced down and try to push it so we can get the best right, time that we can here. Now, let me go, oh, let's go over the times the at the first run. Again, it was, right, it was completely heat soaked. Manifold temps were over 160, I think. Race, ridiculous, ridiculous. But let's go ahead and see the first, the draggy time slip and you see it's already gone as fast as it did before on a completely iced down run with just the intake and the E85 with the headers and all the heat soaking. So it went at 1034 at 133.3 guys. That is pretty awesome. Really happy with that being that it is completely heat soaked. I let this thing obviously idle driving all the way down to the staging lanes and didn't really let it cool down at all so it was really hot so 1034 and if we look at the drag strip 
you'll see here we did pretty much the same thing at 150 60 foot 664 to the eighth at 106.5 and then a 1032 the fastest pass this car has made i think the fastest before was a 1033 it now went 1032 at 133.3 so best mile an hour as well and you can see guys 133.3 133.3 the mile per hour between the drag and the track is pretty much spot on now they must have fixed that and almost even the eighth mile et 1032 3 to a 1034 so that was pretty close anyways really happy really excited about that i wasn't expecting a low 10 second pass but to run at the same time that we did on an ice run is pretty awesome. But for now, I'll catch you guys whenever uh, we're about to get our second ice down run. All right, guys, finally getting our second run. About to set up our data log. And we're gonna be running a Mustang, I believe. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but hopefully everything looks good and we get a low 10 second pass here our manifold temps 124 which is perfect we got intake temps in the 90 in the mid 80s oh yeah let's see what this does hardest launch i've seen on this car guys holy crap oh my goodness Woo. oh draggy says a 10 21 let's go park and look at these time slips guys because i think we just ran one of our fastest times ever let me catch my breath there <laughs> guys this Z01 is insane. And look at this tire wrinkle. Oh my goodness. Those bead hogs are just digging in. But anyways, this thing felt strong and it hit hard off the line, guys. Let's go ahead and show you guys the track slips. So right here first is the draggy run and of course the best time we've run yet a 1021 at 134.90 134.90 it was a mile an hour at 1021 et and that is the draggy showing at 900 feet da and now we'll look at the official track slip which shows 1400 feet da 1350 feet da 93 percent humidity so it's still not amazing weather out here we typically we typically see about negative 500 da at times with like 40 percent humidity so definitely can get better weather and looking at the slip guys you see a 147 60 foot definitely the best 60 foot we've ever gotten we're in the one fours now a 654 to the eighth at 106.89 miles an hour 106.9 basically 107 miles an hour and then a 1018 at 134.89 so the draggy's mile per hour is pretty spot on guys it was 134.90 so the track must have has definitely gotten the mile per hour issue corrected so we picked up three miles an hour and basically another two tenths which is pretty impressive guys i am freaking happy as can be honestly i think in zero or even like negative 500 da which we typically see here probably i guess more towards december january time frame you know this car is going to be a nine second car with just the intake and the headers now 
unfortunately our fuel system is bone stock so we can't run any more ethanol i think we were only running e45 and really if we can do some stuff if we can do some stuff like get a low side pump to keep our low side pressure running we might be able to be increase the ethanol content to e50 e60 and if we can get to e60 we'll be back at the same ethanol content as before with just the intake and that should give us a little bit more timing and obviously make more power so what's next for this thing guys well we definitely need to go ahead and do the low side auxiliary fuel pump though so that we can increase our ethanol fuel maybe eventually go with high side and injectors bigger injectors that's a little bit more pricey but if it allows us to run full e85 that would be the best case scenario because then we would be able to really run get much more power out of this thing on full e85 comment down below what do you guys think this car is about how this car is running 1018 at 135 with just intakes and headers that's all it has 135 miles an hour guys keep that in mind trapping 135 miles an hour with just intake headers and not even much e at all e45 yeah this thing is amazing i love the z01 by far the best choice i could have made i do not regret i do not regret one bit selling the ss and getting this even though the ss was faster this thing is just so much more impressive to me for being able to do what it's doing on the bare minimum of mods that people end up doing to these things so comment down below let me know what your thoughts are do you like the car do you like what it's doing is it overperforming, underperforming let me know i would love to hear your thoughts but with that being said guys that's it for today's video unfortunately we only got two runs it was super packed and i had to be by the car the whole time i couldn't really you know go show you guys what other cars were running but in any case hopefully we can get back out and do some more car content for you guys tracks gonna be closed but we can do other events they'll have private track rentals and all that stuff so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one